A quick disclaimer, yes, I am a certified bar instructor and cycling instructor. However, I am not a qualified physician or healthcare practitioner, so I would check with your physician before attempting any type of new physical activity, especially while pregnant. That being said, it's getting cold outside. I don't have a gym membership, so everything I do is at home. A lot of it is indoors now, so I'm gonna share with you guys all the advice that has helped me so far, as well as simple tools that I've ordered on Amazon, pieces of equipment, all kinds of things I've accumulated over the years, and a few new ones that I've incorporated in since getting my little baby belly. <laughs> guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So since becoming pregnant with my very first vegan pregnancy, a question I've been getting a lot of is, are you still working out? And if so, what are you doing? What are you doing differently? So I'm gonna share with you guys today how I've been staying fit and active during my pregnancy, especially now that I'm in my third trimester. So if you guys are into these vegan pregnancy videos, into these fitness related videos, Give this one a thumbs up to let me know. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join us here at the Eat Move Rest fam. And leave me some love in the comments below and also let me know what kind of fitness routines have been working out for you during your pregnancy. So as always, you can follow me at Insta on Instagram at Erin Stanzik and the hubs, Dusty, at DB Stanzik, as well as finding us all over social media, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, you name it. We're there daily sharing this whole crazy new life experience with all of you. So let's get going. So my biggest piece of advice for you guys is whether you own a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or some kind of crazy metrics device or not, the biggest and best thing that you can do for yourself is to listen to your body. Go with your gut, follow your heart, listen to that intuition. And if something doesn't feel right, if it feels uncomfortable, I would steer clear of doing that physical activity. That being said, I do think it's important to get your body moving, whether it's going for a walk or sweating it out on your bike, whatever it may be, it's important to stay active, especially before you get pregnant. Having those healthy lifestyle habits, that fitness routine in place is going to be so, so helpful when you actually get pregnant and moving through your pregnancy more comfortably and keeping your body fit, keeping your circulation going and all of that good stuff. So really quick, as far as no goes, things I just haven't been including into my workouts anymore would be a lot of core work lying on my back. Laying on your back for too long, it can put a lot of pressure on that vena cava, which is the large artery under the right side of your uterus. If you clamp that or cut off that circulation, it can reduce or limit the blood flow to your baby as well as to you. So I've been really careful about how I do my core work. I'll show you guys some tools that I've been using instead to still strengthen my abs. And I haven't been laying on my stomach either. Like I used to do a lot of those like Superman moves to strengthen my back, but obviously it's not so comfortable anymore, but that's okay. There are other ways to do that as well. And lastly, high impact activities are becoming a little bit more difficult to manage. So I'm an avid runner and thankfully I've still been feeling healthy and comfortable enough to go for my long runs on the bike path anywhere from three to six miles, even into my third trimester. So I encourage you to not shy away from running if you love it and enjoy it and it feels comfortable most importantly. So again, just listen to your body. That being said, I know that things are going to become more and more uncomfortable as I progress and get bigger in third trimester. So lower impact is probably going to be more appealing to not just me, but all of you. So let's jump right into these at-home fitness tools that you can use if running isn't your thing and if you're looking for something a little bit more low impact. So number one, hand weights of varying sizes. I've got three pounds, I've got five pounds, and eight pounds. So even these little baby three pounders will get your sweat dripping, your heart pumping, and your muscles amped up. So I'll use these a lot of times while I'm on my stationary bike trainer that I'm gonna show you guys. 
and you wouldn't believe how sore your arms can get. So number two is a good resistance band. There are a few different types. I really like this type with the handles. These are great for traveling with because they're lightweight for your suitcase, but you can essentially achieve the same type of moves, same type of resistance as you would be able to with a set of dumbbells. So this is one great resistance band. The other type I like is this one. You can hook this under your feet. I'll show you guys a few different moves with this. I use this a lot in bar classes. And then you can also actually tie it in a knot, wrap it around your legs and do squats and lunges. These are just awesome, super inexpensive. Sliders, these are gonna be awesome if you're doing planks. You can put them under your feet or under your hands and slip and slide around either on a hardwood surface with this side or on the plastic side, you can use them on carpet. Again, I'll show you guys a little snippet of how I like to use those for bar class. We do a lot of planks. This is another awesome thing I use in bar classes again and so that I can place it under my back if I'm going to be doing core work. That way I can be sitting in the upright position and still getting those core workouts without placing any of that pressure on that big vein. Healthy circulation and keeping those muscles soft and supple and stretched out is gonna be super important as you get bigger and bigger in pregnancy. So one of our favorites is the foam roller. These are also really inexpensive. Um, these are great for just giving yourself an at-home massage. These are just like all the rage right now. The fascia blaster, it's supposed to help prevent cellulite and they say that it can cause bruising at first, but I just think it feels great after a long run to kind of massage my quads and hamstrings and calves. So check these out. Yoga or not, a good foam block or yoga block can be fantastic for stability while you're stretching. It, it becomes harder and harder to bend over even to tie your shoes, put your shoes on. So this can be helpful for stretching. So this is going to come in super handy if you don't want to be laying on your back to do core work you can sit on this roll around rock around it can be great to kind of get that pelvic floor ready for delivering your baby so to give you a quick snapshot of what a week's worth of workouts is looking like for me now day one let's say it's sunday i like to get in one super long run a week so six to seven miles outside on the bike path is just amazing just going at a comfortable pace Day two, maybe I'll go out for a 20 minute jog and then I'll come home and maybe hop on my stationary bike trainer. Day three, I'll usually pick out a workout video on TV. I love Team Beachbody On Demand. Check that out if you're interested, I'll put the link below. I'll do like a Sean T uh, 25 minute workout, something like that. Day three, maybe I'll just do a bar workout down at the studio I teach at. Day four, I will get back on my bike trainer for 20 to 30 minutes, and then after that, maybe just do some stretching or some yoga. Day five, maybe another run with another workout video. Day six, let's say rest day. I do take one rest day a week, so I will just do some light activity like a long walk with Dusty and Bo, or maybe some yoga and stretching and things like that. And then day seven, there is one day a week where I still like to go do indoor cycling. Uh, I take a spin class at the studio I work out at. So you can see I like to change it up. I'm bouncing around, jumping around, thankful that I still have a lot of energy, but hopefully that gives you a good picture of what's been working for me since um, growing in my pregnancy. So now that you guys saw some of the body weight resistance training type of stuff that I do and the tools that I use for that, let's jump into cycling. So if you're a cardioholic like me, but the low impact is gonna be more up your alley, then like I said, stationary cycling is the way to go. It's gonna be safer than getting out on the road on your bike. I love it because I'm not pounding on my joints as I'm beginning to gain weight. And you can work out right in your own living room like I've been doing. This is a great alternative to buying like a Peloton bike or like a, a spinning bike because they're ridiculously expensive. They're heavy to wheel around and cart around. So what I've invested in is called a stationary bike trainer. So I love that I can actually set my own bike on this trainer. So I've got all my gears that I'm used to fiddling around with. This bike fits me perfectly. I've been using Cyclops trainers for 
probably about seven or eight years now. And they recently collaborated with me and sent me this brand new model. This is their M2 trainer. It's so awesome because it plugs in and it syncs up to your phone via Bluetooth. And then you can use either the Ruby app or Zwift app. I can do races, virtual races, with live people all over the world that are also on their bikes at the same time as me. So if I'm on a Zwift ride and I'm riding through the mountains in California along the coast, then as we begin to go up, then the resistance automatically increases. And when you add in other people riding alongside you, you get in that competitive edge. And I've never had a better workout experience. So if you guys are interested in a stationary trainer, highly, highly recommend looking at a Cyclops. I'm not getting paid for this collaboration. Yes, I am super grateful that they sent me this amazing brand new trainer. Like I said, I've been using them for years. I'm a firm believer. That's why I'm supporting this product and that's why I think you guys should check it out. Not getting paid, <laughs> but you guys are gonna love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I'm staying fit, healthy, and active during my pregnancy in this third trimester as I begin to grow a lot. <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed this video, we would appreciate a thumbs up as always. And like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've got that bell click to turn on notifications. You'll get alerted whenever we put out brand new eat, move, and rest content here on this channel. Leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you might be interested in trying for yourself. And like I said, anything and everything that I mentioned is linked below in the description. So be sure to check those out. And of course, as always, follow me daily on social media, especially on Instagram, loving it right now, at Erin Stanzik and the hubs at DB Stanzik. And if you guys are interested in me shooting a full-blown bar workout, maybe a beginner's bar workout or a pregnancy bar workout, maybe even an indoor cycling workout, let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys.